It's a uh, not happy. Not a happy car. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta get it home. Oh my god. Just come on. Make it home. We're almost there. How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here with the beautiful life as Alma. Um, we are <laughs> we are going to be recording and filming something kind of interesting. It's kind of something that no one's asking for, but I feel like it would be interesting on her channel. It's probably a little bit more of an interesting video that you guys would actually care about. But I want to figure out if this big behemoth right here, all electric bolt EV that I bought my mother, I wonder if that can be any of these cars here, including the little itty bitty Miata over there, okay? Because I've driven this car a fucking million times and it moves. Like if you get on it, it's got a little sport mode too. If you get on it, it starts to take off. The instant torque of an electric vehicle is pretty amazing. So I'm wondering in the right conditions, can it beat these three cars? And by that, I mean low speeds, instant torque and great traction. So obviously not a 60 rule car. I think the limiter on it is only to like 90 miles an hour. So obviously, can you move? You're like, I know you want to be up in the camera, but please, uh, obviously the Mustangs are going to eat it up at that speed. But I think it's gonna, I don't know. I, I think it's gonna be pretty close. I'm pr <laughs> the Miata is going to be an interesting one. And I think it could take out her three valve from like a 20 to 40 roll. But uh, she begs to differ. What are you doing? Get off your phone. Help me. Anyway, so on her channel, she's going to be racing the Miata, the Bolt, and Project WAP. She's going to be seeing kind of where her car stands before she starts modifying it and adding power to it, which is a great idea. She gets a nice baseline reading, and throughout her build, she can re-race all of these cars and see how much she's gained or how much she's gotten slower because, you know, who knows what's going to happen. So anyways, without further ado, place your bets in the comments which of these cars are going to be able to beat the Bolt and which one is the Bolt going to be able to beat. Anyways, let's go ahead and start racing. If you guys want to see the races from her perspective and her thoughts, if she's going to be able to destroy any of these three cars in her three valve, go check out her channel. Link in the description down below. Let's dive right in. First race is going to be against my brother's NC Miata. He's sitting on some Koenig wheels, some Toyo tires, and he has a nice axle back exhaust. He's not a huge car enthusiast, but he likes driving out in the canyon and having fun, and this is the perfect car for that. Obviously not a straight line racer, so let's go ahead and see if the Bolts can destroy this Miata. We got the Miata behind us. We're gonna wait for him to pull up, and then we're gonna give him the Gapplebees. And it should be pretty quick. I think we'll know right away what's gonna happen. I don't know. We'll see if uh, Miata owners need to watch their mouth. I mean, we already know they're slow. We already know they're slow, so we'll have to see. I need to get a BRZ owner out here too. Clap that out. But uh, let's go ahead and see. Damn, something sounds like shit. I heard that. Oh my God. I'm cold. You good? Oh my God. Oh my god! <laughs> did he even go or no? He went. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. He went. Are you serious? Yeah, he went. This thing's quick! <laughs> what gear were you in? Second? Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll do a 40. I don't know, the seven? Okay. W were you gaining on me or no? Uh, a little bit, not, nothing crazy. So is it safe to say the bolt's faster? Yeah, definitely. Okay, all right, let's go back. Second race is going to be against my girlfriend's three valve. If you guys want to see what's done to it, you got to go to her channel and check it out. We're going to go ahead and see if the bolt can take this thing out. And then after that, can the bolt destroy Project WAP in the right conditions? Can it? Who knows? All right, guys, we're now in the Bolt. We got sport mode engaged. We're going to go ahead and try it from like a 20 or a 40. I think that's the only way I'll be able to stand a chance. The instant torque of these, I mean, they go. They just they just go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, find a, a closed course really quick, and uh, we're going to have to go ahead and test it out. So let me find where this uh, slaughter is about to go down. <laughs> Uh, 
that was low key kind of close. That was that was kind of close. So I think she's a little nervous now. That was uh, pretty close. That's pretty close. We're gonna have to see again. Oh my God. Oh my God, she's gonna sell it. I already know she's gonna sell it. Holy shit. Oh my God. Hey, sell it. <laughs> Oh my god, that is fucking funny. All right, she told me if she lost, she was gonna sell it. So uh, we're gonna have to go ahead and see what the outcome is. We'll have to see. I mean, maybe she was in the wrong gear, but I think that was for sure at least one dub. I did drag her down a lot more. So she might've been in a second at a 20 mile an hour roll, which is, no, she should've been in first, but uh, we'll just have to see. That might be the driver mod instinct, you know? So I told you, man, Bolt EV, low, low quick. I mean, if I get on it, it starts to go, so we'll have to see. Let's try to, let's let's see if I can get her to do a 60. Oh, she let off. Yeah, she was gonna pull away. She let off though, I told her to. I said, if you start pulling away and you don't feel comfortable, then let off here. Let me get in front of her. Yeah, so, I mean, this thing from a dig, for sure gonna eat up like probably three to 400 horsepower cars unless they're all wheel drive just because of the whole traction and the instant torque from a roll i don't think it's got it I, I think it's close but i don't think it's got it obviously I, I was like hanging with her but if we kept going i mean this thing's got a limiter on it at like 90 miles an hour so <laughs> up until 90 i can hang with you after that you know it's just fucking free willy scoot on you know so anyways let's see if we can get one more running in this thing and uh, we'll go test it out uh, and then we'll go hop in project WAP and uh, have some fun with her show her who daddy really is and for those of you who have never been in an electric car or this might be your first video seeing something in an electric car look at the instant torque like if i gun it it just it pushes you back and i'm not exaggerating i'm holding the camera and it still pushes it back like that like it's still doing it and it's oh here we go we we got we got the front lane right here let's see if we got any competitors anyone trying to race anyone trying to line up against the bolt the fun thing about electric cars is you can race anyone no one's gonna hear you watch this Ooh, oh we chirped the tires <laughs> gave the tires a little chirp right there oh my god and we got a couple of bus links on some people so yeah it's uh it's a fun car so you four cylinder boys Maybe you gotta put some respect on the electric cars. All right, we made it back and we got the loser circle right here. How do you feel getting gapped by a Bolt? <laughs> I'm joking. I mean, she beat it from a, a 40 and a, a 60, but she does have eight more cylinders than this thing has. So uh, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse, but I'm kind of happy I was right. The instant torque of the Bolt is real, real nice. All right, we're in the WAP. We're gonna race the three valve. Very good. Very good. <laughs> All right, guys, we're in the WAP. We're gonna race the three valve really quick. See how it does. Um, I'm pretty sure I know the outcome, but still, it'll be good to see. It'll be good for her channel too. So. Let's take a look. We'll do a 60. I think she'll stand her best chance around a 60 because this thing has really long gears and is really, really sluggish. So once it gets moving though, oh, it's moving. So let's take a look. You good? Okay, so yeah, she held on for a little bit, but this thing just, uh, once it starts building boost, man, it's not really close anymore. You can't really uh, fuck around, so we'll have to see. I think there's another car pulling out.
Okay, so before I continue to play the rest of this clip, I need to explain something. First of all, I'm not proud of what I did right here. It was really immature, but at the same time, you're going to cut someone off while they're speeding a little bit. I wasn't going too fast when this person cut me off, but I guess they were upset that we were driving the speed limit. Keep in mind, we were doing 60 rolls. So this person decided to cut me off and try to brake check me while I'm in a car with manual brakes. So as you can understand, I'm a little bit upset. I don't condone or respect myself for doing this and looking back at it, it's pretty immature, but I was upset. I knew I had a camera, so I look like I'm more, you know, correct or right. But still, I mean, crossing over a carpool lane like a dick, like this person just did to cut someone off, not cool. What I did, also not cool. I'm not trying to defend myself, but what she did was way more dangerous than what I was doing. Anyways, take a look. dumbass she cuts me off illegally and is getting mad at me i didn't even i was going the speed limit and she cut me off illegally what a dumb bitch she cut me off illegally and is gonna go ahead and try to get mad at me you're an idiot like i know like yeah i'm, I'm doing some stupid shit but come on anyways there was an infinity in that race which was kind of interesting so we'll have to see Okay, this is the last time I interrupt race, I'm sorry. But what I just noticed is the Veloster wasn't even right behind me. It was in the carpool lane to begin with. So they just decided to cut me off for no reason. They could have just kept driving. If you look right here, my buddy's Mustang is behind me and the Veloster is still in the car. I, I don't even know, I don't know where the car came from, but fuck that lady. But uh, still, I mean, what a fucking idiot. Where's, where's Mammy though? I don't know where she went. I'll have to see. I know he's not gonna like the excuse, but I was spinning. I did spin, so uh, sorry, Brian. <laughs> but uh, no, he did. Uh, he did for sure get me. I mean, that car is a lot faster than this car, so it's kind of expected. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to see when I get new tires because these things just do not stick. guys well we blew up the clutch you can tell because when I press the clutch pedal it stops but it's uh it's dead so all right yeah I'm gonna have to figure out how to get this thing home hello yep it's uh not happy not a happy car I'm sorry I'm sorry I gotta get it home oh my god just come on make it home we're almost there Well, anyway, guys, that kind of sums it up. I mean, I was kind of right and I was kind of wrong. The Bolt can beat some cars. It can't beat all cars, but it can beat the majority of just stock cars out there on the road, at least from low speeds. On high speeds, on the freeway, you're not going to stand much chance. But anyways, we're going to hop in the WAP right now. You guys probably already watched the race, but we're going to hop in the WAP 
and I'm gonna go race this on the way to my place and we'll see how it goes. Anyways guys, if you wanna see more videos like this one, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And until next video, peace. Little info on what happened to the WAP. I'm not really sure. I'll give you guys some info as I find it out. I gotta drop the trans and see what I blew up. Hopefully it's just a clutch. Because the car still drove, but I have no fucking idea. I mean, I might I might have just made those fucking internals on that trans turn into liquid metal. So we'll have to see. The only reason why I think it was the clutch was I wasn't really doing anything bad at the point. I mean, I was just cruising and it just decided not to be a fucking clutch anymore. So anyways, I'll let you guys know. And uh, peace.